Alright guys, what is up? Saint Ain't bringing you a brand new video. Today, we will be talking about Mountain Blade Banner Lord. So, uh, you know, maybe you've heard of Banner Lord, maybe not, but it's basically an open world game sandbox. You're seeing, uh, gameplay from the first Mountain Blade, uh, on screen. It's a mod called Gekakujo and basically puts you in Japan. Anyways, Banner Lord has been on the eyes of many many PC gamers for years now, and we might finally have an idea as to the official launch date of the game. So, as you can see here, in the latest dev blog, um, they talk about the troubles of developing an engine from scratch. This is probably why the game has been taking so long to develop. Tail, Tail Worlds has been developing a brand new engine from scratch to use her banner lord. At this point, the engine is mostly done, but there are working on bug fixes and polishing it. Uh, you may ask why do they need uh, their own engine, why not use CryEngine or uh, something like that. But the benefits of having this unique engine developed just for Mountain Blade is that it will allow for extra modding, map creation tools, and so much more customizability for the community. They are specifically designing this engine to be easily used by these modders and, and map creators and it just adds infinite more content to the game. However, this process is extremely time-consuming, uh, as noted by the long development time of the game. But the dev blog does give us some hope as to when we might be able to play this game. If you check out their page right now, you can see they have just implemented camels into the game. <laughs> yeah, camels. Tell Worlds states that while camels are not game-breaking or anything overwhelming, they are a nice addition, and I do agree. It's, it's a nice touch. However, the addition of camels tells me that they are almost finished adding assets to the game. You know, skins, uh, swords, all that kind of stuff. Horses. As all the factions and map is pretty much done. You know, I think right now that they have a fully functioning alpha or even beta version in their own hands. Which could put Bannerlord on track for a late 2018 release. You know, maybe November, December, maybe even late fall. But a tail world, tail worlds keeps dragging their feet, you know, like they've been doing for these past few years. But they have they have picked up production recently. I expect the game to be launched January or February of 2019. Hopefully, tail worlds can keep up the pace, as it seems they have kicked up production speed and can de can deliver the game to us this year. We will see so much more at E3 this year and Gamescom, and those two should be a pretty good indicator as to when. The game will come out. Anyways, guys, this has been Saint 8, and have a great day. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand.